I want to get straight into Chelsea because we're here and it's been a big story. Tim, let me come to you first. A lot of buying, mm. as they always do. What do you think the strategy is? And are you 100% sure there is one? Great question. No, I'm split. I'm, I'm very rarely split, but uh, it's the same old song. We've seen this movie before. Another manager, Bol Todd Bowley's been in charge three years, four permanent managers. Uh, a lot of summer signings again, big spending, a lot of players coming in, a lot of players going out. Uh, there's a, we keep saying there's a really good team in there somewhere. Um, I'm, here, here's what concerns me. If at the end of last season we would have said they're going to bring in Dewsbury Hall, none of us would have said that's a good signing. I think Tosin, good, good player, good defender for, for Fulham, none of us would have said that's the signing they needed to back. They already had some good center backs. So I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Maresca, I think, is a good manager, but they've had really good progressive managers in the past. So uh, finishing outside the top four the last two seasons, it just feels like that, that has to be the benchmark, and I'm not sure. I picked them to be in the top four, but I'm certainly not sure of that. One thing that you said on the Two Robbies podcast was they could finish fourth or they could finish 12th. Yep. It's very difficult to tell whether or not they're going to have a good season. Why do you think that, Rob? Well, because there's so many options they've got available. And again, it's mostly younger players that we're not really sure how they're going to do. And on top of that, you've got a new manager that does things very differently to the previous manager. That's why we're like, I look at them in pre-season, I look at the lineup, I'm like, wow, that's a, that's a good looking mm -hmm. back four. And, and they play some nice football. But ultimately, when you get into the Premier League, you know, you're not sure how it's going to fare with the other teams. Just going back on the question you asked to Tim there, I think I know what their strategy is. It's a player investment business. This football club is a player investment business. They're by trying to get all the young players that at some point they'll either use them if they're good enough or they're going to sell them on for a profit. So does that mean they don't care about Well, that's winning? the question. Right. Well, that's the question. Right. That's well, what used, my concern is. They used is. to be a bit of a player they business. But, but they weren't chased, chased, they they chased yeah, titles. Yeah, their football was good. You used to come here in fear playing against the teams that were here, Rob. Yeah, and, and that's the concern, isn't it? That are they focused more on in player investment business or chasing titles that these people here want to see? That's the concern with the way that the ownership are doing it now. Of course, you win titles, mm -hmm. then you can sell players for more money. Yeah. So surely that has got to be part of their plan. It, uh, it is, Rebecca, and leads me to, to the point I think I, I need to make, that these around 50 players I'm here in the dressing room, first team players, some on loan, etc. Around 10 have come in this summer. The most important signing at this football club was Enzo Maresca. He has got to get hold of this football club. He's got to lead this football club. He's got to have the belief and confidence in this football club. Forget about the internal and external noise. Forget about the internal and external politics and get a football team who can play on this pitch, who can do justice to the Chelsea shirt. That is what has got to happen at this football club. That, that, that's the point for me, because I could, I could probably point to Forrest as well. I could probably point to Pochettino, who I really like. Upstairs, they're bringing in all these players. Downstairs, the manager just needs to go, I can have 50 players, these are my best 14, and just play them. Yeah, to follow on, Tim, uh, like, don't buy... 10 young players, buy two really good ones right. to win a title. <laughs> right. So that's the thing that the fans are like, well, there's all these money spent on these young players. Great, but how about not doing that mm. and, and spending more money on a couple to make the team much better? Rob, I heard a brilliant line from Arna Slot in a press conference about a week ago. That Liverpool have signed nobody yet. Chelsea, obviously, buy every minute. He said, you have to be careful when you bring people into your dressing room. Sometimes the more players you bring the less energy you have. And I thought it was a really interesting thought because the less energy means if, if you bring in Tim Howard, all of a sudden Rebecca Lowe's not feeling great because Tim Howard's in. You bring in another one, Robbie Earl's not feeling great. All, so you've got to manage that 50 players. I know Tim says stick to your 14 or 15. You've got 35 other players who are unhappy. They've got to sell. Oh, they got to sell. But, 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 but here, here's the other. You, you, Robbie Earl probably played for one of the most together committed groups, right, at, at Wimbledon. Mareska said this week, and this is what I like, going back to downstairs on the pitch, it's hard to have togetherness when there's all these different players, no one knows who started, no one knows who the leader is, and he actually said there was a tackle in preseason and the players didn't stand up for each other, and he went in the dressing room and he said, one thing you're going to do from the start is you're going to stand up for each other and you're going to back each other, and at least for me, that starts to think like, okay, there's a belief and there's, there's a... There's a a community, there's some sort of togetherness here. Now, whether that translates to wins or not, it's a starting point. Well, and he's been quite impressive on camera, Enzo Maresca, yeah. but he's not very experienced, Robbie. So he's no, got to do I all know. this and manage all this without a lot of experience as yeah. a manager. Yeah, and the fans here that are like used to big, big names here, like, well, is this guy? He's had a good season for Leicester City. They're expected to get promoted anyway. He's got all these young players and a very different style of play. And if there's one style of play that's hard, you know, to sometimes break through, is that playing out from the back because there's always going to be mistakes and they'll be like, oh, what are we doing? Type 
of situation. So he's going to try and change things on the playing side of it. All this on the back of Pochettino last yeah. year just started to figure it out and yeah. they're starting yeah. over in terms of their tactical kind of process. Yeah, Chelsea taking on Manchester City right here, 11.30 Eastern. We cannot wait for that. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.